is Pluto hiding an overwhelming secret. Just because the celestial body is no longer a planet does not mean it has disappeared from the focus of scientists. Quite the opposite. NASA's New Horizon probe took a close look at the icy dwarf world and uncovered something almost unbelievable. Since then, experts have been certain that life could exist on Pluto. My father explains our nine planets to me every Sunday. This mnemonic for the order of the planets lost its validity on August 24, 2006, because, as we all know, this was the day Pluto lost its planetary status. NASA's New Horizons probe, which had already been traveling in the direction of the remote celestial body for seven months at the time, certainly didn't care much about any classifications. But what actually led to Pluto disappearing from the ranks of the official planets? Well, it's simple. Researchers had discovered more and more Pluto-like bodies in the Kuiper Belt, and to prevent the list of our planets from bursting at the seams, the International Astronomical Union decided to redefine the term planet. For a celestial body to be considered a planet from now on, it must orbit the Sun, have a spherical shape, and have cleared its orbit of any other objects through its gravitational field. The last point broke Pluto's planetary neck which is why it has since been listed in the newly opened ranks of dwarf planets. And Pluto has truly earned the title of dwarf. With a diameter of 2,376 kilometers, the celestial body is even significantly smaller than our Moon, which has a diameter of around 3,475 kilometers in this category. However, when it comes to cold, the dwarf planet really has nothing to hide from the other members of the solar system. Its surface has an average temperature of minus 233 degrees Celsius. That's only 40 degrees above absolute zero. Consequently, Pluto is far too cold for all known forms of life. Or is it? Well, not necessarily, but more on that in a moment. The fact that the thermometer on the deep frozen tiny planet never climbs higher than minus 218 degrees is due to the extreme distance between Pluto and the Sun. While the average distance between the Sun and Earth is 150 million kilometers, Pluto orbits our host star at a distance of 6 billion kilometers. Consequently, it does not take 365 days to complete a full orbit, but just under 248 years. While Pluto's atmosphere consists of 99% nitrogen, nitrogen ice is the dominant substance on its surface. The massive core, which measures around 70% of Pluto's diameter, consists mainly of rock, encased in a mantle of water ice. Despite its modest dimensions, the dwarf planet does not orbit through space alone. It is accompanied by at least five moons, with Charon being by far the largest natural satellite. Its diameter is 1,212 kilometers, which is slightly more than half the diameter of Pluto. Due to its particular size ratio, some experts therefore consider it more appropriate to speak of a Pluto-Charon binary system. New Horizons has discovered something spectacular on Pluto. Although Pluto was already added to the star charts on February 18, 1930, it took until July 14, 2015 before a terrestrial research probe, New Horizons, entered the realm of the celestial body. It took the 480-kilo NASA probe more than nine years to cover the immense distance between Earth and Pluto. The researchers were therefore all the more excited when they were finally able to start evaluating the data and images transmitted. In fact, the corresponding analysis is still in full swing, but it has already delivered findings that have caused a mixture of astonishment and overwhelm among the experts. The scientists realized that Pluto's face is actually much more dynamic and versatile than previously assumed. Not only are there cliffs of frozen nitrogen ice towering over the landscape, reminiscent of the jagged coast of Scandinavia, but also colossal blocks of methane ice that are sometimes as big as skyscrapers. In the same breath, we find ice volcanoes here that make even Mount Everest pale in comparison, as well as gorges that are deeper than the Grand Canyon. With regard to the 3,500-meter-high Norge Mathas on the southern edge of Sputnik Plain, researchers assume that the mountain range consists of water ice because it is as hard as stone at the frosty surface temperatures. Nitrogen ice is not stable enough for such massive structures, but we have no idea how the mountains were formed in the first place. There is simply no massive celestial body in the realm of Pluto 
that could have deformed the crust to such an extreme degree. When New Horizons reached Pluto, it was traveling at a breakneck speed of 52,000 kilometers per hour. It was traveling so fast that it only got to see one side of the dwarf planet up close. This was the hemisphere which was bathed in the light of the distant sun at the time. The opposite area, however, was literally in the dark and could only be studied by New Horizons in the days before the closest approach. After experts have mainly analyzed the up-close images of the hemisphere in recent years, the shadow side is currently the focus of astronomical interest. However, the corresponding images were nowhere near as sharp as those of the other side. Only landscape formation with a resolution of 2 to 30 kilometers can be seen here. However, what at first glance may sound crude is in fact 250 times more accurate than the images that the Hubble Space Telescope once took of the remote ice world. Consequently, the New Horizon images give us an unprecedented image into Pluto's nature, and they even suggest that the freezing cold celestial body could be hospitable to life. Is a gigantic ocean slumbering beneath Pluto's surface? In fact, scientists have suspected for some time that the dwarf planet is hiding a soaking wet secret. It could be hiding a huge underground reservoir of liquid water. The dwarf planet would by no means be alone in the solar system. Jupiter's moons Europa, Ganymede, Callisto, and Saturn's moon Enceladus are also home to subglacial seas. And as we all know, water in a permanently liquid form is one of the basic prerequisites for the development of Earth-like life. But wait a minute, how is it actually possible for water to remain liquid when the temperatures on Pluto drop so drastically below freezing? Well, there are actually several factors that reduce the melting point. First and foremost, salts dissolved in water and high pressure. But friction caused by tidal forces, which converts part of the kinetic energy into thermal energy, also prevents the water from solidifying into ice. So has New Horizons now penetrated beneath the surface of Pluto and undertaken an extraterrestrial dive there? Well, not quite. The ocean theory is mainly based on a region that experts refer to as chaotic terrain. This is a jumble of mountain ranges, gorges, and plains that lies opposite the Sputnik Planitia. In order to understand the formation of this tangled area, a Dean Denton from Purdue University simulated how the shock waves triggered by an asteroid impact would behave in the case of Pluto. After all, the experts have seen such strange terrain formations before, on Mars and Mercury for example, and the experts basically assume that the seismic waves chase around the respective celestial body after a collision, with the quakes colliding on the opposite horizon. There, they break up the surface and create mysterious structures that do not fit easily into the familiar landscape scheme. And lo and behold, in the case of Pluto, the chaotic terrain could also be the result of an asteroid impact. But with one caveat, for the simulation to work, the dwarf planet needs an underground sea 150 kilometers thick. But before the scientists can put on their astronomical diving goggles, a little patience is required. Because although this is a plausible hypothesis, at the end of the day, it is also a purely theoretical one. Some scientists complain that the resolution of the images is too low to assess the terrain with any certainty. Further research missions are essential to finally uncover the hidden secrets of Pluto. How could life develop on Pluto? One thing is certain. If the underground ocean exists, it could also provide a habitat for Pluto's inhabitants. However, Experts agree that this would be by no means a highly developed underwater population, but rather the simplest of organisms. This is indicated by the traces of water on the nearby hemisphere, which have left behind a shimmering reddish discoloration. This discoloration is in turn an indication of a high concentration of organic molecules, and thus of the precondition for life. It is possible that their origin lies dormant in cosmic radiation or the solar wind. Experiments have shown that such complex reddish compounds can form when molecules such as water, methane, or nitrogen are exposed to a bombardment of radiation. If ammonia is also present, even the basis that we also find in RNA and DNA can be formed. Particularly exciting, the article published by a team led by New Horizons researcher Dale Crickshank in the journal Astrobiology 
list evidence that suggests that Pluto's ice is not only red, but also contains ammonia. However, the authors emphasize that this is by no means proof that the dwarf planet is actually home to extraterrestrial organisms. The results only show that the microscopic life forms could survive there. Despite this, the article received a positive response from the experts. The red band runs across Pluto's equator and is therefore located in the zone that receives the most sunlight and has the warmest climate. The bottom line is that two out of three requirements on the potential life checklist have been ticked off. There is evidence for the existence of liquid water and data that suggests the presence of organic matter. What is still missing is a suitable source of energy to maintain life-friendly conditions. In view of this and the unanswered questions that still need to be resolved, many planetary researchers emphasize that a return to Pluto is essential. But when this dream will become reality is still written in the stars. Do you love getting to the bottom of the most exciting space discoveries of all time? Then what are you waiting for? Press subscribe and look forward to many more videos on this exciting topic.